Hi, I'm Katie, and I participate in a martial art called Tsubak Do. When I tell people I do martial arts, they usually assume I mean karate. And when I tell them I do Tsubak Do, they always ask what Tsubak Do is. So, I'm creating a series of informative videos to help people understand Tsubak Do and to inform more people about it. This episode, I will be talking about the eight key concepts of Tsubak Do. Let's begin! The eight key concepts of Tsubak Do develop the practitioner. The benefits of using these concepts and the ultimate purpose of Tsubak Do training is the rejuvenation and prolonging of our lives. I will say each concept in English and Korean, explain the meaning behind it, and say a few ways it applies to Tsubak Do training. Number one, courage, Yangi. Courage is brave energy needed to experience new techniques and activities that are outside of our regular comfort zone. Demonstrating courage means having an I can do it mindset. Number two, concentration, Chong Shin Tong Il. Concentration applies to all parts of Subakto training. It is used for memorization of forms and Korean terms. Concentration is even used when we rest in Chumbi. It takes concentration to keep mudo or discipline. Number three, endurance, inne. Endurance is an important part of Subakto. We use endurance while holding back stances, kicks, and other techniques. Using endurance helps gain mental perseverance and stronger physical aspects. Number four, honesty, Chong Jik. Honesty is an invisible thing, so only ourselves can experience it and gain the maximum benefit from our training. Honesty helps us build good habits for ourselves, which can also improve our character. Number five, humility. The foundation of humility is respect for ourselves and for others. It relates to every aspect of our training, our technique, and partner work. At an individual level, humility helps us not to overestimate our abilities. Number six, control of power. Him Cho Chong. Control of power is essential for safety, particularly in partner work, and an understanding of when to be loose and when to be tight. With proper control of power, you can have good offense and defense techniques without physical contact with your partner. Number seven, relaxation slash tension. Shin Chuk. Relaxation slash tension is the foundation of control of power. A big part of relaxation and tension is our breath. Externally, the inhale is associated with physical contraction and the exhale is associated with physical expansion. Relaxation slash tension and control of power play major roles to earning more self-control. Number eight, speed control, wanga. Speed control is essential to subak do technique because in every technique, there is a fast and slow component. The slow component is usually involved in the preparation and the fast is usually the execution. And those are all the eight key concepts. Applying all of these into our training will result in better character and subak do experience. That's the end of this episode. I hope that it helps you understand more about the eight key concepts and their meanings. Stay tuned for next episode, which is about the five Buddha balance of Subak Do. Goodbye! For more information, visit www.wasachmartialarts.com.